Hello guys, uh, welcome to my channel Brand Tech Solutions and in this video I'm gonna show you how to get multiple servers last reboot time using PowerShell. So let's get started. So uh, I have three machines turned on, one is my DC and one is member 1 and member 2. And just to make sure I'm able to ping them, member 1, yep and member 2 okay so I'm able to ping both the servers from my DC so we should be good to start so the command that we are going to use is get hyphen sim instance and the class name is gonna be win32 underscore op so it's actually win32 underscore operating system but you don't need to type the complete uh, you know the operating system so you can press control and space so you will get this auto suggestion so select operating system and then uh, we may not know uh, the appropriate property name so what you can do is type property and then put uh, asterisk in there so it's like a wildcard so you will get all the properties for this command so as you can see we got many things which we don't need and if you take a look the things we will uh, probably need is a CS name uh, which is a computer name DC and then the last boot up time and we can take Microsoft Windows Server 2019 which is the OS name and uh, that is provided here as caption so uh, let's try it get some instance class name pin32 underscore operating system property star and then uh, use the command let select so it's actually select hyphen object but as an uh, alias we can use just select alone select what are the things that we need one is cs name and last boot up time and caption which is nothing but the operating system so if we press f5 or the play button yes great so you get dc the computer name and the last boot up time and caption so I told you I'm gonna show you how to get this last boot up time for multiple servers and if we take a look here I think it's better we switch the position <clears throat> so next to property you can have computer name and let's type DC Come on, member one, come on, member two. Let's run this. Great. So now we got the last boot up time for all the servers. But in case, I mean, I just have like only like two, three servers. So I just uh, wrote them here. If you're a Wintel administrator and you supposed to do patching for your servers. And if you want to find out for, you know, for uh, hundreds of servers, uh, whether they got rebooted and when was the last time they got rebooted you can simply put the uh, server names in a notepad and I will show you how to get that done as well so number one you just have to type one by one number two and then TC so I'm gonna save this notepad in my temp folder ah, servers save and now what you can do is create a variable called servers and then get content so get content command led will uh, read all the contents in a notepad so you can use get content 
or the alias which is cat see temp servers and now in the computer name parameter you just remove all the servers that you type manually and just put servers and let me clear all the all the things and play it again perfect and in case you want it uh, to be exported to excel sheet you can still do it export just pipe it to export hyphen csv and see them uh, let's give last put up time dot csv and then do not forget to add no type information and let's run it again and that's done so let's go to see a uh, temp then I'm gonna copy I'm gonna paste it here so I usually hide all my uh, desktop icons just to keep it neat and clean so let me paste it here opening it up and perfect so you got everything in an excel sheet now so uh, your management or a, uh, any other team needs it you can simply get them by this method and you can just make it more neat by you know bolding the the header and uh, that's all guys uh, if you have any questions uh, do comment in the below section and also if you like it do like and also please subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for watching you have a great day bye bye